Hi, this is Steve Bradshaw. So welcome back to part 15. This time we're going to be looking at enhancing the paste in a 5250. So moving the cursor to the end of the paste. Sounds like a really small thing, and it is. But if you live in the command line, this can save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration, particularly with longer commands. So what we're talking about, let's just move out of here. Bring up a traditional 5250 command line. And in the past, if you were pasting in a command, so here's an example of saving a license program, the cursor remains on the left-hand side here. So if I wanted to change this one, so instead of having my save file, I actually got a save file that I wanted to use there. I'd have to sort of move the cursor up there manually and type it in. Well, okay. With a small change, we can get the cursor to follow the paste. So when we do the paste, the cursor moves up to the end where you've just finished. What does that look like? Well, simply go into Edit, Preferences, okay, and then the Edit function. So that's Edit, Preferences, Edit. And you'll find this extra box down here, Move Cursor to End of Paste. There are various other ones in here that you want to look at. Depending on how you use the Paste function, adjusting these can really save you some time and effort. So if when you're using Paste, it doesn't quite feel right, have a look in there. So now, We'll do the paste again. And you see how the cursor is right at the end here? Okay, small thing, but can save you a lot of time. Hope you find it useful. And if there's anything else that you'd like me to uh, research or show, please get in touch. Cheers.